As we're reading through the book of Job, in chapter 30, we're really in the thick of the thickness and deepness of Job's sorrow, confusion, challenge as he's processing all of his suffering. Perhaps your Bible has chapter or section titles or headings. In one of my Bibles, the title for chapter 30, it reads this way, despised by the despicable, unending pain and unanswered prayers. That's a powerful way to summarize this chapter. I mean, listen to some of his statements. In verse 26, he says, I looked for good, but evil came instead. I waited for the light, but darkness fell. Verse 30, 31, he says, my skin has turned dark, my bones burn with fever. My heart plays sad music and my flute accompanies those who weep. You know, as we've mentioned throughout our reading of this book together, we have a different vantage point than Job was afforded. We know how his story begins and how it ends, but Job didn't. He just knows what he's going through and what he's going through is tough. You know, as we read this chapter today, I think we can take to heart two important lessons. Number one, the importance of empathy. You see, Job's friends failed to show him understanding and empathy throughout his suffering. And as believers, we're called to walk alongside those who are hurting, offering compassion and offering support. And number two, that's trusting God in the midst of tough times. Despite everything he's going through, Job still holds on to his faith in God. And this chapter should encourage us to reflect on our own response to challenge and suffering and the level of trust we place in God during challenging times. You see, just like Job, in our own lives, whether we're walking through something or in relationship with someone who is, we too have a limited vantage point. And this kind of reminds me of lyrics that we often sing together on a Sunday morning. I don't know what you're doing, but I know what you've done. I'm fighting a battle that you've already won. Remember, we may not know all that God is doing, but we do know what he's done. And we know that we're fighting a battle that he, Jesus, has already won.